Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons of Fiction. Today we are going to talk about Anna Karenina. Anna Karenina is the leading character in the 1878 novel Anna Karenina by Russian author Leo Tolstoy. It is one of the most popular novels in history. It is immensely popular, been translated to so many languages and so many adaptations have been made. It is the story of Anna, a um, high society lady who falls in love with another man who is not her husband, starts a relationship with him and um, thus initiates her own downfall. It is meant as kind of a warning at least Anna's actions are definitely condemned um, by the author but despite that she is a very relatable almost or in any case likable character many people have really warmed up to her even though she is the bad guy of the story and I'm pretty sure that Anna Karenina is just one of those names that everybody knows. So um, there have been several movie adaptations and the most recent one I believe is the 2012 version with Kira Knightley in the role of Anna. So um, that is what I've chosen today for my look. There's not much to go of in the novel itself when it comes to Anna's looks. She is said to have been full figured, but that is about it. So I'm going to kind of use the creative interpretation of the producers of that movie as my inspiration today. So this is the look that Kira Knightley wears in the movie and I'm going to show you how to recreate that today. So let's get started with the makeup. I'm going to keep it very simple. It appears to be a very no makeup makeup look, what she's wearing in that movie. So I'm just going to start with a layer of foundation to even out my skin tone. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer to cancel out my dark circles. And I'm going to blend everything in really well. And I'm not going to powder it off to allow this to be a little bit dewy, give a more natural look. Okay, so eyebrows. I'm going to try and kind of imitate Kira Knightley's eyebrow shape a little bit more. Um, to look a little bit more like hers, you know, make this look a little bit more recognizable. So I'm just going to make them a little bit thicker and um, create this very sharp angle at the top. So when the eyebrows are done, I'm moving on to the eyes and I'm going to apply a little bit of skin colored eyeshadow. That is just a few shades darker than my own skin color. And I'm going to apply this with a fluffy brush all over the moving parts of my eyelids and into my crease a little bit and kind of extending this outward. And I want to make this look like a very natural kind of shadow around the eyes. Apply that underneath my eyes as well. Just using this large brush all the time to make sure I get a nice blended look. Okay, so then I'm just going to take a little bit of mascara and I'm going to use one that's going to look very natural. And I'm going to make sure to really comb out all the clumps because we want this to look like there's no mascara actually on our lashes. Just make the lashes a little bit darker. Okay, so for the cheeks, I'm just going to apply a little rosy blush. And I'm going to apply this um, high up on my cheekbones from the outside sweeping inwards. And just keep this very light. And then for the lips, I'm going to choose a very natural um, color that is somewhere in between nude and pink. And there is the makeup look already done. So moving on to the hair. Now the hairstyles, she wears several different hairstyles, but they're all very similar, come down to the same thing pretty much. A mass of curls that is kind of pinned up on the sides and then forms a little bun in the back, a low bun. So that is what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to start by spraying my hair with heat protector and holding spray to make sure my curls last. And then I'm going to divide out my hair into small sections and curl everything with the smallest curling iron I can find. This is a 13 millimeter one. And each time I finish the curl, I'm going to gather it up and pin it to my head to cool down in that shape. And that is going to help me maintain the curls at my roots as well, because if I let my curl go, um, the curl will kind of disappear from my roots and it will just be curly on the bottom. And when I've curled all of my hair, full head of hair, I'm just going to leave it in these pin curls um, until it's completely cooled down, so for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to take all of my pins out again and release my curls. And now I have a big lion's mane, so I'm just going to comb through with my fingers to separate out these curls, make them look a little bit more natural. And then forming the hairstyle itself is really simple. I actually started by kind of combing out the back of my hair a little bit to make sure that it's smooth when I put it in the bun later. And then I just took the sides of my hair, the front kind of front side bits, and I just randomly pinned that actually to the back. Let the curls do all the work. They will provide a lot of volume and kind of that messy feeling that Kira Knightley has in the movie. So just stick a couple of body pins in there and then I'm going to gather all the rest of my hair in the back and just twist this into a low bun. Just the simplest cinnabon. 
and pin that down with a couple of bobby pins as well. Now if a couple of pieces come loose in the front, that is not a problem at all. You can see that um, Anna in the movie often has these little front pieces hanging loose as well, especially towards the end of the movie. <laughs> there is your Anna Karina look completely done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more beauty beacons of fiction episodes. If you have any requests for fictional beauty icons that you would like me to recreate the looks of, leave them down in the comments below. I will look through and pick someone out for next time. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!